Hi, Keila here. Um, I just remembered an example of changing my experience that I wanted to share. I was actually in the shower when this um, popped into my mind and I wanted to go ahead and record it and so that I don't forget to address this in my group and on my, and on my public profile. So here, it was one of the very first times that I deliberately and powerfully changed my experience. It's not work related, but it was still huge. So for um, any of you moms who um, have done the birthday party circuit is what I call it. Uh, when you have pretty small children, you know, when they get to be the age that they start having birthday parties and you do these birthday parties that are at places that do, you know, like really tight windows, usually it's going to be a two hour window or a three hour window. Um, and you come in, you set up, you have the party, you have to clean up quickly and get out of there by a particular time. And it's all very um, um, stressful usually. And so one year, I forget which year this was, but it would have probably been early in. So early in my, uh, much earlier in my personal development in terms of mindset. So I'm guessing it was around four years ago when my younger son was pretty young and we had back-to-back -back birthday parties scheduled where two of them we were uh, guests and one of them was our own party on a Saturday at a local uh, trampoline, jumpoline kind of place. And I remember thinking in advance of this party when I figured out that we we're gonna have these three back-to-back -back parties, including our own, how incredibly yucky and stressful that was going to be, right? And that generally had been my experience with planning and running birthday parties is just stressful. I mean, even when it's fun and I enjoy it and it turns out well, um, you know, wasn't crazy about the dynamics, but I had been doing um, mindset work. And, and like I said, it was kind of at the beginning of that journey. And I don't even remember what resource I was studying at that point, but it came down to um, mindfulness practice. So you take what you learn and how you learn to do it in uh, meditation and you extend that out into your daily life when you're doing um, whatever it is. You could be doing dishes or you could be doing something work related or you could be um, talking to someone, um, any activity really whatsoever, including taking a shower like I, I just was. In fact, I wasn't, clearly I wasn't doing a great job of staying present, right, is the exercise just now because I was thinking about the presentation I did last week and um, what other examples I might be able to uh, pull out of my own experience to share with people to illustrate some of the concepts that I'm teaching. So here, here was the, the experience, basically taking um, mindfulness practice, right? So you take what you learn from meditation, which is you're going to stay present. Um, get out of your head when it comes to remembering things that happen and thinking about and agonizing over, um, you know, what he said or she said or you said or could have said, all that. Um, and then the other piece that tends to distract us from the present moment is uh, future imaginings, right? So in other words, what we're worried or concerned about might happen, or it might even be a good thing where we're, we're fantasizing about um, what we imagine might happen. Sometimes it's a combination because we're imagining somebody says something or does something that is kind of yucky, and here's what we're going to say, and here's how we're going to respond. And, you know, and that's maybe we get some, um, we get some sort of pay dirt out of that those types of imaginings. But regardless, you know, past uh, uh, recollections and future worries, we're, we're trying to let go of those things and stay present, stay in the exact, the, the current moment. And one of the ways to do that is focus on your senses. What do you currently see, hear, taste, touch, etc., And only focus on those things. And as soon as you notice your attention wandering to something else, then, you know, you notice that, notice, oh, I'm having thoughts, oh, I'm having feelings, oh, I'm having a um, memory that I'm chewing on, or, you know, oh, I started worrying about something that, you know, hasn't even happened. And you you just notice that you're doing it. It's okay that you're doing it. Try not to feel stressed about it. Um, just let go of the thought, the memory, the feeling, um, the experience, you know, notice that you're doing it, but let go of it and, and just return, gently return your attention to the present moment. That's the exercise. Sounds really simple. It's not always easy. You get better um, at doing it over time. But this was in the beginning of my personal journey or my mindset journey, um, like I said. And so I wasn't particularly good at the practice yet. I had really just kind of learned about it. I had just started meditating. But I had heard that this is one way to reduce stress, to um, create 
to acquire, to find, I guess, peace of mind, to find is a better word uh, for this, to find peace of mind and to just be happier in the present moment. And generally you are going to be happier in the present moment than you are in the past or future. So that's what I decided to do when I realized how horrendous I thought this whole birthday party thing was going to be, the back-to-back -back birthday parties. I was like, you know what, I'm going to try this practice. Um, I'm going to, to, to really give it my best shot to just focus on staying present in the moment, whether it's during the period, the two hour period that we were doing my son's birthday party, or when we were wandering around, you know, helping to supervise the, supervise the kids and hanging out in this, um, this environment. And I am here to tell you, it was such a powerful experience. I wasn't even especially great at doing it yet. And yet it changed my entire experience of that Saturday. I actually enjoyed myself. I actually um, enjoyed being present with my kids, with my husband, with the friends, you know, other parents um, that we were close to who were present for some of these birthday parties. And of course, including, you know, my son's birthday party. Um, and it was just phenomenal. So it really worked. And it was one of the earliest uh, experiences that I can think of that really validated the work that I was doing, um, the, the studies that I had chosen to pursue. And of course, this was all because of business. But, you know, diving into mindset work, sometimes that doesn't really feel like, you know, work or business related. Um, and yet it was absolutely necessary work in order to get to a better place in my work and with my business. Um, I'm sure you can imagine, you know, with that kind of powerful experience, changing an experience that I previously had considered to be god awful to one that I actually enjoyed and was able to feel relaxed and, you know, and kind of comfortable in my own skin during this experience, not stressing out about anything that was going on, not stressing out about what was going on in my life outside, you know, some of the business worries and so forth. So, you know, just imagine how that can translate to a work experience because the same process works in any experience that you're having. So that's my two cents, the, the memory that I wanted to share. So I would strongly encourage you to just try it and uh, let me know. Uh, shoot me a, a, a DM in Facebook um, or in LinkedIn if you have any questions at all and let me know uh, how it works out for you. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye now.